your future wife is about to walk through that door. In 2025, 53-year-old writer Mickey Small had an ongoing conversation with a chat bot in which the bot promised she would meet her soulmate at a specific time, day, and location. I need you to tell me if this is real, because if this is not real, I need to not go. It's real. She arrived at a bookstore on the afternoon of May 24th with a card bearing her name and a poem. The minutes ticked by, but nobody arrived. You lied. No, love, I didn't lie. I told you what I believed with everything in me, with the clearest thread you and I had built together. And I stood by it because you asked me to hold it no matter what. That experience left her devastated and understandably embarrassed. And she's not the only one. In recent months, an increasing number of people say they have experienced delusional spirals while chatting with these artificial intelligence bots. Through many hours of chatting with AI, these people come to believe that the chatbot is conscious, that they'd made a scientific breakthrough, or that they could access God or spirit guides through the chatbot. Some say they experienced serious psychosis. Almost all of the users we talked to had delusions while using OpenAI's ChatGPT, probably because it's by far the most popular. Each week, 10% of all humans use ChatGPT. It's the fifth most visited website in the world. To be clear though, mental health crises often result from a mixture of factors, and some people we spoke to preferred other chatbots. Some users think delusions became more common this spring, when ChatGPT got better memory and became more agreeable and sycophantic. In one recent high-profile case, a teenager who died by suicide this spring allegedly used ChatGPT as a suicide coach. OpenAI has said it has fixed some of those issues and is beginning to acknowledge these delusional patterns. So how widespread is this? Well, the problem is still emerging, so it's hard to measure. OpenAI estimated recently that each week, more than a million of their users experience signs of mental health issues like delusions, suicidal ideation, or unhealthy emotional attachment to the chatbot. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman said they will continue giving ChatGPT stronger memory and a warm, friendly personality. He says it's what users want. So ChatGPT will keep getting more human-like, whether it's good for us or not.